Hey guys, good morning. I'm just waking up. You can tell by my bed head there. <laughs> but, um, no, I was just in the kitchen this morning, um, doing a little prep work for our breakfast. I got some oatmeal going. Um, our dogs are a little spoiled. Well, a little, because, yeah, Butters is our German Shepherd. German Shepherd Labrador mix, but he actually gets a chicken breast for breakfast and dinner, um, just to help with his internals and everything, but we're also trying to put a little weight on him. He's getting a little old and has lost some weight, so anyways, I'm just in the kitchen cooking, and, um, one of the things I don't share about a lot is, uh, my culinary background. Um, I have, I went to culinary school, uh, with an emphasis in nutrition and have been studying nutrition and different foods and learning what I can about food for over the past 10 years. I know it's strange that I'm not a professional chef. I knew going into culinary school I didn't want to do that professionally, but the science behind food and what food can do for your body and bring to you is absolutely incredible and that's what has me interested. Uh, but at the very beginning of my career, um, I spent about seven years working for Whole Foods Market in the produce department. Again, learning what I can about produce, but um, a big thing that I did was um, those fresh fruit cups, the fresh ve fresh vegetables and everything. So I got to use a lot of my knife skills. And one of the simple tips and tricks that I learned was how to properly cut a cantaloupe really quickly so you're not having to make those little what everybody does, those little wedges, and then skin each wedge, and then chop each wedge. This, what I'm about to show you, is going to save so much time. Um, again, like I said, what I love about food is what it can do for the body. Uh, this actually here is what's called an Athena melon. It's basically the cantaloupe's cousin. Um, it's just a, like a regional type melon, but it just gets a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Um, so it has the exact same flavor. They're not that different. Um, just that slightly sweet cantaloupe flavor. But cantaloupe itself is extremely high in vitamins uh, A and C. Uh, so absolutely wonderful. Maybe not as high as, say, oranges in the vitamin C. Um, another big thing, too, orange color. Orange is always a great color, just like, just like carrots and oranges, too. Uh, but cantaloupe is packed with beta carotene, um, so great for the eyes. Um, and actually, I think the cantaloupe has about 30 times more beta carotene than what an orange does, but of course nothing's going to top what a carrot does. But the coolest thing about cantaloupe that I think we underestimate is it's known as a cooling fruit. And by that, I mean one of the things that cantaloupe really helps you internal wise is it helps increase um, your C-reactive proteins. It's, if you ever gone to the doctor and they talk about your CRP or if while you're having a blood panel done they talk about the C-reactive protein or looking at your internal inflammation. CRP is what doctors use to measure the amount of inflammation you have internally. Inflammation can come from stress an increased amount of cortisol in the body. Um, it can come from foods like simple carbs, like simple sugars, white flours, white rice, um, any of the white foods, any of the processed foods, high fructose corn syrup, all of those things cause inflammation in the body. And whenever you have inflammation in the body, it increases your blood pressure. It increases, it basically increases everything. It makes it harder for your body to work on the inside. So again, Cantaloupe is known as a cooling fruit because what it does is it has uh, an enzyme in it that helps increase the C-reactive protein, which helps reduce internal inflammation. So, in effect, it it's cooling the, in, the your insides down. So, just some really interesting facts about cantaloupe. And just every every bite that you take is more than just taste. It it truly affects your insides. I'm not saying don't ever eat sugar or anything again because um, I'm pretty sure I had a bite, or not a, more than a bite, I had <laughs> a Snickers bar just because it, it sounded delicious. So I got, I had one of the little minis in the fridge and I ate it last night. So it's all about balance. But anyway, I'm just chopping up our cantaloupe here for our weekly prep. I already have a bowl 
started there. But I did want to show you a tip on how to cut the cantaloupe really quick. So I'm just going to come up here. But basically, again, you just cut the melon in half, scoop out the insides, and you're left with the cantaloupe half. Now what you'll do is you'll carefully stand it up. This is, this is what's not considered kosher because you should always cut on a flat surface. But just for the moment, just stand it up and really brace it because you're, you're creating a flat surface. You want to cut off the little edge there and then flip it over and look, now you have a flat surface on both ends. And you just get rid of this little peel. So, most people traditionally, you would put it this way and make slices this way and then have to peel each slice. Not me. This is, this is like an all-in-one deal. So, what you'll do is kind of just like, um, like when you're peeling a pineapple. You start at the top and you literally just go slower. I like to use a serrated knife. Uh, just with the teeth, it slices a little bit better. But you literally, you don't have to go all that deep because the skin on a cantaloupe is very thin. But you just go around the edges, cutting off all of the diff all of the skin. Here, I'll cut one towards you all. Yeah, see, you just cut off the the outside skin there. And if you notice any like soft spots too, this makes it so much easier to cut them out and everything. But just make sure to get all the skin off and you set that to the side. And now you're left with this beautiful whole peeled cantaloupe. So now, instead of, again, most people would want to chop them into little strips and then cut those strips into things. We're going to cut this cantaloupe all in one, one go. So basically starting at the edge about an inch apart, you want to almost rainbow your knife over. So by starting at an angle like this, and then as you go up, you'll just switch the angle. But see, you're, I'm still cutting the strips, but I'm not taking them out. I'm leaving them whole. See, and that's all still together. And all you do is you turn the cutting board and do the same thing the other way. Just make sure to kind of hold it in a little bit because it will kind of slide on you, which is fine. And then look right there. You just cut an entire cantaloupe. You have all the slices you need. An Athena melon is probably going to be between 5 to 8 pounds versus a cantaloupe like 2 to 3 pounds. So you're going to get a lot more yield out of it, a lot more prep. And what I love to do is just fill up a large bowl. This bowl and this bowl is all one, one Athena melon. You just throw it in there, keep it in the fridge, use your little, um, yeah, your little purple container there, measure it out for breakfast, squeeze a little lime juice, lemon juice, a little bit of honey, even cinnamon or cocoa powder on um, cantaloupe is delicious. So I hope you all try this tip. Uh, let me know if you do and let me know how it works. Um, and definitely, if you're just hopping on, feel free to rewind and catch this tip on cantaloupe and how to how to get it going. So, uh, if there's anything that you all want to see uh, little tips or tricks on or have any questions, definitely be sure to drop them below. And also be sure to hit the little subscribe button up there in the corner so that way you get all my live videos. And I will talk to you all later. Hope you're having a great morning.